How's it going, ladies and gents? It's your for the neighborhood Aussie, Squidgy TV, and we're back with some more NBA 2K14 Cleveland Cavaliers My GM mode. And as you can see, we are going to take on Kevin Love and the Minnesota Timberwolves in our second play game with Paul George and Thomas Robertson, all the new boys. I'll see you guys there. Welcome, fans. Thanks for joining us for this Friday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here, and by my side, Clark Kellogg and the sharpshooter Steve Kerr. A starting five. Running the show, and he understands that it's his job to make everyone else's job easier. That's why he's so valuable to this club. And something else, Steve. All right, before we jump into the commentary, I feel like I should explain why I haven't uploaded for the last three or four days. It's basically been because, do you remember when I talked about my computer and how it died on me and I lost like basically everything? Well, we actually got that repaired. That's how you're getting this gameplay right now. We got that repaired. However, lately it's just been so slow and like I haven't even been able to open my editing program, which is Final Cut Pro. So that's basically why I haven't been able to bring out these videos and I had so much planned because I'm on my holidays, people. My first week of the two weeks that I have off was basically wasted due to my computer but hopefully we can get back on track in this week. I'm really sorry about that because that really is annoying when we just traded for Paul George and everything but have a look at Joel Embiid getting that rebound getting the M1 to go but still man the Timberwolves started off really 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 good in this game. They straight up went off look at the threes in Gary Harris when I saw him in the starting lineup I knew that was going to be a hassle man because Gary Harris can ball. I see Kevin Love out to him again for the three he's going to knock that one down. That makes it 20 to 9. They've gone on a really nice run. His review now going to go out to Kevin Martin. Paul George, what are you doing? Leaving him so wide open. And it's 23 to 9 at that point. Luckily, you made a little bit of a comeback. As is Paul George. Look at Kevin Garnett running the break. Getting that layup to go as the goal 10 goes there on Maurice Spates. Bad play by him. But here we go with Brandon Wright. Out to, I believe that's Shabazz Muhammad actually getting minutes. Shooting that three. Getting it to go. 6.5 seconds. We outlet to Paul George. Looking to get something to go. One second. Gets it up and gets it to go. That is a big shot. We were down by 15. Only down to 12 now. The game is in reach after that. What a play by PG. So going into the second quarter now. Here's Aaron Kraft running the point. Going out. Oh my goodness. Look at that slam by Paul George. Let's get a replay on that. He just, oh my god. He just rised up on Shabazz. That was absolutely crazy. As here he goes for the free throw. Excellent release. You know he's getting that one to go. Paul George's free throw is really, really easy to time in this game. As Mason Plumley getting that slam dunk to go. He's been balling for the Nets lately. I just want to shout him out. He is beasting. Have a look at Corey Brewer knocking down that three. They were lights out from three this game, people. Kind of like in real life when they can get hot. But have a look at Paul George now answering that three. Getting that to go. Paul George had a really, really nice game for us. Once again, he is just unstoppable. Have a look at Kevin Martin, hand in the face from Kyrie Irving, just shoots right over him. He's getting that one to go. So here's Joel Embiid now, going to play hot potato with Thomas Robertson, and he gets it to go, and one hits the deck, still hits the shot. What an amazing play by Joel Embiid. He's just getting better and better every time I play with him, I swear. And he goes up, hits that free throw. He has an awesome release for the free throws. So here's Paul George now. He sees Kyrie Irving to his left. He's going to set his feet, and that's buckets from Kyrie Irving. Don't leave him open. We're trying to make a comeback now. It's still a 10-point game. Martin out to Gary Harris. Paul George cannot defend that. He is torching him right now. Gary Harris, I believe now he's a second-year player, and he is straight out there balling as Paul George gets that off the window layup to go so here's Kevin Martin here on this play probably gets fouled as he goes up for that layup no call Kevin Garnett out to Jabari Parker and he's going to go down and find Paul George for another little easy layup Paul George was getting those shots a lot this game and he was indeed converting trying to have three point seconds to go in the half Jabari Parker's going to pull up in his face and knocks it down huge shot we were down by nine now we're only down by seven awesome play I'll see you guys after this interview with the big ticket. Well, I'm here with Kevin Garnett, and Kevin, how does this team navigate the ups and downs and pressure to come out and win games like this one that you're in the middle of here tonight? Nothing's easy. You know, we do it together. We don't do it individually, and when we do, we look bad. Uh, but when we do it together, we look pretty darn good. KG, thank you for the time. Guys, he's always preaching team. Can I just say that that interview was awesome? Let's have a look at the stats here. Kevin Martin, 16 points in the first half. Out there beast. And same with Gary Harris. He's out there balling. So here we go with Jabari Parker. Just trying to get some shots to go. Just trying to get him heated up. Because when he gets going, people, Jabari Parker is unstoppable. As he pump fakes, taking it to the rim. Getting that foul. Count the bucket and one. 
Jabari Parker with game-winning plays right now. So right here, oh my god, why are we leaving Kevin Martin so wide open? He has 20 points now. He was just torching us all over the place. But look at that, he's just pulling up from the parking lot right there. Man, Gary Harris has unlimited range in this game. So right here, finding Thomas Robinson wide open. That is his shot, you know it. We can, like, if we can really just start hitting that shot over and over... I can't really see a like, big flaw to our team other than Paul George's defense right now on Gary Harris. What are you doing, mate? So right here, Kyrie now goes down to Jabari Parker as he gets that slam dunk to go. Jabari was really starting to heat up now. You better watch out. But have a look at that move by Kevin Martin. He actually got me with the in and out Hezzy. That was really nice. Here we go. Jabari fading away. No, he's not. He gets that buck. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Did you? Oh. Jabari is feeling it, people. He just went up with a crazy and one as Maurice Spates gets that layup to go. Here's KG, the big ticket now, going to fade away. He still has that shot in his arsenal at age like 40 or something. I don't even know. But have a look at this. He just runs away from the defense and pops that J and he gets it to go. It's a four-point game. Here we go. Aaron Kraft going down. Going to find Jabari for a massive slam again. Jabari Parker straight up beast and right now. Now, with one second to go, pulls up with two people in his face. Can't quite hit that. It's a four-point game going into the epic fourth quarter. You know it goes down in the fourth quarter. So right here, Kyrie out to Jabari. Ricky Rubio, what are you doing? Not having a hand in that man's face. He is feeling it right now, people. Jabari is going off as he's Paul George fakes everyone out. And then have a look at Joel Embiid going up with a nice layup. Nikola Pekovic has no shot-blocking ability basically whatsoever, and he gets that one to go. Here's Jabari, too late Hey, Gary Harris, it's Jabari Parker time. He is beasting right now. 27 points in the second quarter. So, righty, have a look at Nikola Pekovic as he got the offensive rebound. We tried to back up and maybe block that shot, but he just went straight up into our chest. No chance really there. But here's Kyrie Irving. Great pass down to Paul George. Fakes out the defense. Goes up with that beautiful layup. We're up by four. What a comeback. The Cavs have not given up. Here's PG faking out the defense again. Getting the M1 to go. That puts us up by six. He would convert. Convert the free throw. And right here, bad pass by us. Kevin Martin picks it up. Looking to take it all the way. And he does with the right hand. It's under three minutes to go now, people. We have a three-point game. Here's Ricky Rubio taking it to the rack. Oh, get that out of here, Ricky. But then there's Kevin Martin going up. Getting the and one to go off the block shot. Are you kidding me? He would convert on the free throw as well. So here's Rubio going down low. How did we not block that shot? I swear we blocked that. Joel Embiid had his hand through it. But then, great pass pass there from Gary Harris. One of his very, very underrated things is he is a great passer. So here we go now. Kevin Martin making some clutch plays. Under two minutes, we get the steal. Jabari going up with the slam dunk. We're down by two. Man, this game's getting crazy now. So here we go. Spencer Hall is trying to inbound to Ricky. Can he get it out? Look at Gary Harris. He's... Oh my god. Just... Paul George completely lost him on that play. What a great play by Gary. So right now, here's Jabari trying to make some clutch plays. Gets the screen from Thomas Robinson. Pulls up for the three and he knocks it down. That's buckets from Jabari Parker. We need his 32 points the second half. That's unbelievable. As we nearly get that steal with Kyrie Irving. And Gary Harris makes good work of that. So here we go. Trying to get a shot for Jabari Parker. But we see Paul George. He's wide open. We're going to give it to him. He's going to knock that one down. 30 seconds to go. It's a tied game. Kevin Love trying to make some plays. He's been fully locked down all game. And Spencer Hawes misses that shot. Paul George goes up to Kyrie Irving. He's a wide open mid-range shot. And he knocks it down. Kyrie Irving making some big shots in the clutch. Now it's up to Ricky Rubio. Will he drive? Will he pass it down? He's going to drive. And he doesn't get the layup to go. He might have got a piece of that. And they're going to have to foul. Kyrie Irving will end up going to the line. We're going to see if we can hit this free throw. That is the dagger, people. Up by four with two seconds to go. They're not going to get this full court shot to go. And we're going to walk away with the win. 94 to 88. Let's see who the Jordan player of the game is. You know who it's going to be, man. Jabari Parker, straight up beast. And let's have a look here. Man, just... Like, when I really, really, really needed a bucket, I felt like I could just go to Jabari this entire game. That was the one thing that I felt like I was missing from his rookie year, and it seems like he's really, really improved on that. But guys, as usual, let's aim for 80 likes for the next episode up tomorrow.
You guys have been absolutely smashing that like button. It seriously is amazing. And as you see in the stats, Kevin Love had like two points or something. He got locked down. But guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, do it for your own sake. Do not miss these awesome videos. I'll see you guys later. Squidget out. Cheers.